you. There's so much to say. I cannot find the words. Except for these. I love you. Somewhere in time. It's such a beautiful movie, a classic movie. One of the best love stories in my estimation that was ever filmed. So many different levels, so much uh, about love, time travel, um, and that music, again, my favorite composer, John Barry. I hear that, it was like, it was perfect. You know, when you, you listen to a soundtrack or you listen to music and it's like, that's exactly the feeling. And then of course the stars of it, um, Christopher Reeve. Even the music, I think of the music there, again, there's so many different levels of it because you think of it for your own life, but you also think about Christopher Reeve and that was before his accident. It has so much meaning to it in, in, in that regard as well. Um, and uh, the, the, the beauty of the whole thing, it's like Jane Seymour. There is that point where you heard in there, where she looks at him, is it you? That is a line that I, <laughs> I say in my daily life because of that film. It's those lines in certain films, it's those sayings, it's those quotes, it's those looks that you, you remember throughout your life. And this movie, oh my gosh, and the late Christopher Plummer, the cast, the music, the hotel. Again, there's another, another piece, another piece of the puzzle, another character. And within that hotel, um, very powerful, very powerful indeed. I wanna show you one of the scenes because I don't like, I just like to give a snippet of something. I don't like to tell the whole story. I don't, I just want you to see some of these movies, to experience them, to make them become part of you or not. Um, but this, this scene is one of my favorites. Um, there's so many in this movie. It's the thing about a good movie is, yes, you might have a favorite scene, but the whole movie just comes together. It has moments and moments and moments and they all connect and string along. This scene is when the character Richard Collier played uh, by Christopher Reeve somehow is lured into this museum in the hotel. And you'll see that well, I'm not going to talk about it until you watch it. Enjoy. Sir? Uh, yeah, when do you open? In about 40 minutes, sir. 40 minutes? Yes, sir.
Arthur. Hi. Yes, Mr. Collier? Arthur. You know, in the Hall of History, there's a photograph. A young woman, there's no nameplate. Yes, that's Elise McKenna. She was a famous actress in her day. Starred in a play in the hotel theater. I'm, I'm sorry, did, did you say that there was a, there's a theater here? Yeah, uh, down by the lake. Really? When was this play done? Oh, uh, 1912. 1912. Brilliance. It's truly brilliant. I can watch that movie over and over again. I can think about it and get emotional because it's not just that film. We have that kind of relationship in our lives, some way or the other, if we're lucky. Whether it lasts for a day, an hour, a glance, <laughs> a summer, or years, could last years could think about, uh, you know, I listen to the music and I think of many different people in my life. And it's, uh, it's an amazing piece. Um, and as you just saw in that scene, when he walks into that room and he's looking around and all of a sudden, he just gets a sense, a sense of what is this feeling I have? And then he turns around and it speaks to him. And he can't see it completely because the light is shining on it. Sort of like an angel light guiding him there, you know? And then he just is captivated by it. Um, I want to just check my notes because I did, I haven't been looking at my notes here. This is coming from me. Turns around, sees it, he feels it. Um, what can I say? I, I, I think I, you know, it's interesting. This is one thing I have to tell you as well. Sometimes I don't trust myself. Sometimes we don't trust ourselves when we're either acting or when we're um, being when we're interviewing people or when we're um, whenever we're on media and sometimes we're like oh I have to look at the script or this or that but trusting yourself you know researching it knowing it feeling it and then and if it's really within you and you're talking from the heart that's when it matters that's when it's true so this is another film somewhere in time with all those wonderful cast men, Bill Irwin as, as Arthur. All the characters are amazing. And again, there's so many different levels to this. The story is complex and amazing, the music. So if you have seen it, if you haven't seen it, I think it's time to again. Again, you could see it on YouTube. You could see it probably on many different uh, platforms. So this just gives you a taste of it again. Um, something to watch again during this time and even when we're out of this time, because it is somewhere in time. Old photos, old photos that you could look at like on the wall and you just like look back. I look back at some of those photos and those feelings you get and those feelings of glancing at a photo can take you right there. And sometimes you don't need to have the, the photos, right? You block out the photos necessarily, but you don't block them out because they're right here. <sighs> this moment, this time, somewhere in time. Thank you.